Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Avery Roberts with your Bulldog Broadcast. Today is Wednesday, February 1st. Today is day five of our special subject schedule. Happy birthday to Lily Robinson. Reading Olympics practice will be every week on Wednesday at 8.20 in, in the library. The competition will be on Thursday, March 30th, on the 30th. Today, February 1st, is World Read Aloud Day. I'm going to do the weather from the main studio. This week is sunny and chilly. Temps will be in the 30s. But Saturday will be freezing, a high of 16 degrees. Thankfully, the Eagles are not playing in that. Next week will be warmer and sunny with temperatures reaching the 50s. Speaking of weather, tomorrow, February 2nd, is Groundhog's Day. Let's take a look at this video explaining Groundhog's Day. February 2nd is Groundhog Day. That's when thousands of people travel to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, or tune in on TV and online to watch a groundhog named Phil forecast the weather. Is it time for spring, or will we have six more weeks of winter? Punxsutawney Phil gives us the answer. But how? The idea of Groundhog Day began in Europe with the legend of Candlemas Day, also celebrated on February 2nd. According to the legend, if Candlemas Day is bright and clear, there'll be two more winters in the year. The people believed that if an animal, usually a badger or bear, cast a shadow on Candlemas Day, then six more weeks of winter would follow. But if it was overcast and the animal didn't make a shadow, then spring was on its way. In the early 1800s, German settlers coming to Pennsylvania brought traditions like Candlemas Day with them. The settlers decided that the groundhog was the perfect animal for the job of weather predictor and renamed Candlemas Groundhog Day. So now, if Phil sees his shadow, we get six more weeks of winter. Anyway, that's what the legend says. Groundhog Day has become a media spectacle. People from all over the world come to watch Punxsutawney Phil pop out of his burrow to predict if spring will come sooner or later. Do you believe in the legend of Groundhog Day? I hope he doesn't see his shadow, so we have some warm weather soon. Let's go see Mrs. Gross for an update on the Perseverance Contest. I'm here today to announce the winner of the Take Pride Poster Challenge. And the winner is a fifth grade student from Miss Belljam's class, Gemma Ziegler. Hi, Gemma. Congratulations, Gemma. Great job, Gemma. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the Bulldog Broadcast. We show our best kids behavior in the classroom, in the bistro, on the playground, on the bus, and at home. Let us all do our part to make this Karis kind of day, because a bulldog always cares. Have a great Karis Day, Grass Elementary, because at JM Grass, we imagine greatness.